everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my lovely co-hosts on this uh, grand old journey of reading. My good old friend Gummy. Hi, I'm Gummy. You, you very much are a Gummy. I am. Yeah. What flavor? Is it like strawberry gummies? Um... It, mm. Uh, that, you know what? I, I didn't think about that. Maybe like space flavored. I don't know what that tastes like, but it would probably be pretty cool. I had space, like a galaxy, um, galaxy cotton candy, and it was like blue raspberry and grape, so maybe that. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's canon. <laughs> <laughs> canon now. It's in Gummy's canon. <laughs> but don't try it to eat me, please. No. I'd die. Right. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I brought you for this uh, grand thing. This yeah. Because, um. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> but, um. I was like, what should we read? Should we read, like, something a little silly? Just, like, some. Because we read. Last time I had you on here, we read fucking My Little Pony fanfiction. So, like. Yeah. It can only go up from here. <laughs> yeah, it only, it only gets better. <laughs> yeah. So with uh, with Trolls Three coming out, and then my for you page has been absolutely flooded with people doing edits and cosplaying and absolutely like shipping themselves with trolls. Uh, what better thing to do than do that ourselves on this? Wait, does that say Floyd X Reader? It sure does. What? We're shipping ourselves with trolls? Yeah, we're we have oh a troll my soda. god, troll soda. <laughs> Oh, I didn't prepare for this. I'm not prepared either. I was trying to, try to find something that was good, but all the ones were like kind of like a rewritten of like, what if this happened? But I was like, someone's oh, sipping for the emo troll. Everyone is on TikTok. Everyone's all over this man. What? Yeah, I <laughs> I wish you didn't have to find out like this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did it? Didn't he used to be like? like super happy and now he's like still happy but like kind of edgy i don't know i never watched the movie well i know from from the cover art right here this is after he got like most of his energy drained he had like really pink uh, hair and like okay that's what i'm thinking of and then a like a darker tone of skin but like since he had all of his talent sucked away from him he was getting lighter and lighter to the point that he was yeah. gonna die <laughs> oh that's so sad yeah but, uh, oh, no. I found this one. This was, uh, had a lot of reads, so people love this book, I guess. Of, uh, okay. you're, you're all I ever wanted. Uh, Floyd X. <laughs> That's awesome. And, uh, let me. Okay, here, the description reads You lived a peaceful life with your mother and younger sister until one day your life turns upside down when you discover that your mother marries the former king of the trolls, which makes what? you. And your sister, Queen Poppy, and Princess Viva's new sisters. Furthermore, you discover that your longtime friend who you met on the internet was one of the members of Brozone, and this meeting in real life makes you discover feelings that you didn't even know existed. What the hell? <laughs> no way. So not only are we a troll, but we're also... <laughs> But we, I guess the internet Simp? exists. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's so awesome. I cannot wait to read. I mean, this was- when was the last time this was updated? This was updated 15 hours ago. 15?! So this is like an ongoing thing? Yeah, it's ongoing story right now, so... Get these That's ads out of so here. That's <laughs> even more exciting. Like, this is like, not even a day. That's crazy. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> Someone is dedicated to trolls, so... I, I oh, can't trolls are all pulled after complaints that promotes child abuse. Okay, I, I, alright, we're gonna focus on reading now. Wait, wait what did you read? I read that a, t a troll's doll was pulled for promoting child abuse. Really? Yeah, we can go into detail after the reading. That, oh. that, uh, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. I'm more every day. <laughs> <laughs> yep, entering a rabbit hole I didn't want to go down. Yippee! Alright, <laughs> I, I do have a coin with me for once, so I don't have to like, flip like, a random object. <laughs> Alright, uh, Tails. Alright. Alright, I'm reading first, it was Heads. 
Alright, sounds good. Oh wait, since we have a troll sono, then we gotta- do we have to make our own name? Uh... Trolls name generator. Find out what your, what your troll's name would be. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we got names we got... like Poppy and Branch, so I feel like a nature theme would be pretty good. Rock, no. Uh, what no. kind of troll are we? Well, there's like many types of trolls. <laughs> um, I feel what like if we're just like... off, right? Yeah, that would that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, I got all these fantasy names here. Is there anything else? We do like a flower. Know. Flower. That's that's a that's simple. Yeah. Like a. We can do like violet or iris. Um, iris like the like the kind of emo song from the two thousands. The Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. The what? It could be iris. <laughs> oh the. But I don't want the world oh. to see me. Yeah, we could do it, Iris. Because I don't think that funny. they don't understand. That, I feel like that's fitting. Alright. It sounds like 09 fanfiction. Let's go. Alright, chapter 1. 93 comments. Perfect. This is the right amount of comments for a troll to <laughs> Yeah. When you were 16, you once longed in logged into an online forum on your computer. It was because you had a doubt about the inter interpretation of a song, and since no one you knew listened to that musical genre, you looked for someone on the internet. <laughs> Are we being like, hey, what's the meaning behind this musical number? And it's like Michael in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It took some time, but a kind troll, whose profile name was Dark Sky 321 finally answered your question. From the response, you could see that he dedicated himself on every word. It was... It was just what you wanted to know, but when you saw it, the two of you started talking about other topics. Until you took courage and asked if you could continue talking outside the forum, which Dark Sky accepted, and you kept in touch with each other. Well, we got, like, this phone number, and it just says, like, Dark Sky 321. <laughs> yeah, Dark Sky 321. What an edgy name. I was actually bored with that name. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I'm trying to remember, like, those, like, every Wattpad fanfiction be like, he was like, I moved my dark locks out of my eyes, and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it was, like, That's gods coming up with names. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A true friendship had arisen between that unknown troll and you. You were afraid that that with time he would show his true intentions. As your mother always said, you can't trust a hundred percent of people you meet online. You know what, that is factual. You've got yeah. a point. True. <laughs> I like how we're reading this line as we've met online. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But despite this distrust, years passed, and at no point was he dis disrespectful towards you. Even after you turned 18, which made you very years? happy. It's been years? Damn. Yeah. I'm, it said we started wow. at 16, so we're, maybe we're okay. a little past 18 now. They're of legal age. And troll years? I don't know. Yippee! Don't know. <laughs> Yippee! When you asked Dark Sky who he really was, you couldn't help but laugh when he said he was a former member of Brozone. Despite your disbelief, wow. he didn't make an effort to prove it to... And the two of you continue to talk without further arguments. During the four years since you two met, so okay, so we're like 20 now, okay. You talk right. almost every day. It was clear that you had been, you would be surprised when he had spent several days without responding to your messages. You became extremely worried, especially after you started to feel, feel a bad feeling in your chest, as if you could feel that something bad had happened to him. Your mother tried to reassure you, saying that it's probably nothing. Probably nothing much have happened, and that your friend would eventually respond to you, which didn't work. After spending agonizing days worried sick, checking your cell phone every second to see if he re if he had received the message, Dark Sky finally gave a signal of life. Dark Sky responded to my 40 DMs! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, four, like, 
40 missed calls, 30 Hello? Voicemail. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yeah. God. You were relieved, happy, and at the same time angry, imagining some... banal? I uh, didn't know that was a word. Yeah, I didn't know. Banal reason why he stopped talking to you. He apologized for all the worry he caused you, and that the reason he stopped responding to your message was a long story, and that he couldn't explain everything to you when you- Oh, he would explain everything to you when you meet in person, at a place called Vacay Island. Is that what they call Epstein's Island now? Oh. <laughs> 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 anyway. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, that just caught me off guard. I forgot about the Epstein <laughs> stuff. Anyways. <laughs> you couldn't believe that after four years of talking through messages, the two of you would meet in person and talk face to face. How are you feeling, you younger sister ass? walking towards the restaurant where Brozone's new show was taking place hand in hand with you. In addition to having to deal with the fact that you're going to meet your friend online for the first time, you were going to go see Brozone perform. Something that you never imagined would happen since when the oh band God. had split up, you weren't even even born yet. Oh, what the hell? How old is... <laughs> how old is what Floyd? They're like 20 or something. So Brozone was it's been... Bef like, 90s band or something? I get because it said they... <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta re, -re When Since when the band has split up, you weren't even born yet. So be they split up, and then we were born. So how old is Floyd? <laughs> Frank was a baby when they split up. And he's, yeah. a, he's a lot older now. <laughs> Alright, that's a little... That's a little sus. Yeah, this is a... Play Among Us music. <laughs> bum 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 bum. <laughs> Uh, I guess ev everyone's an adult now. Whatever. Yeah. You tried to say something to her, but no words came out of your mouth because of the mixed feelings. It was so great that you didn't know how to explain it. I I have no idea, you replied, between spontaneous laughs. I completely understand, girl, Claire said, hugging you with her little arms. Oh, I guess that's our little sister. Okay. Yeah. She got a name. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Your mother wanted to stay at the hotel and enjoy the, the spa, so she allowed you to take your little sister to watch the show and, and take care of her. Well, the show hadn't started yet. You looked around to see if you could find your friend Dark Sky. Did he only give us a, a like a description? <laughs> be like, I look like this, and he just said the picture. Of no, like, he's just <laughs> like, I'll be there. Hangs up. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. So, so that you could. So that oh, you could locate said, him. yeah. There you go. There it is. You'd be like, I can I can already predict what's gonna happen. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna be looking around the crowd like, fuck, we can't find him, then the show's gonna start, and then we're gonna see him on stage and be like, oh my god, he wasn't lying. <laughs> like, what what troll around here has would have the username at Dark Sky sees the emo hair? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I get it now. I see where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that you can locate him. He said he would have pink hair now with white streaks. You would know when you would find them. You did the same thing. You put a colorful flower-shaped hairpin so he could know who you were. Dude, everyone would be wearing accessories. You guys are all trolls. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be several trolls with pink hair in the crowd. Yeah, you'd be a little bit more descriptive. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've never met you before. Yeah. <laughs> However, you looked around to see if you could find him, but you couldn't see anyone with pink and white hair. Maybe it was because he hadn't arrived yet. The show hadn't even started. Little by little, the place became more crowded. Thankful that you hadn't managed to take a seat in front to see them up close. Everyone started shouting the, the boy band's name, anxious for him to appear soon. You took your little sister in your arms and let her snuggle into your hair to look up. Alright, all right, I'm popcorning it now. Gotcha. Alright. Not long after, all the lights suddenly went out and the stage lights lit up, turning everyone's attention there. You couldn't help but scream excitedly along with the rest of the audience as they appeared one by one. They were all talented and special in their own ways, but only one of them had caught your attention in a way that, only, that you could only pay attention to him. Look sis, I found your friend! Claire exclaimed, which made you turn your attention to her. 
He looked around, smiling widely as he felt the immense joy of being able to meet him in person. Um, where is he? You asked her. Where is he, Claire? Duh! On stage? She pointed in the direction where Brozone was performing. Oh, I didn't know where the stage was. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you were confused by what she said at first, but then that you noticed- But it was then that you noticed the, that Floyd's hair was pink and white. So what he had said to you was true? While you were processing that information, he finally noticed you in the middle of the crowd, but you didn't even notice. Wow, that's impressive. How many people are there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think she said she was getting, like, right up front, so... Oh, okay. Damn, expensive. <laughs> you felt like your heart was going to spill out of your mouth when you saw him get off the stage and walk towards you. He held your hands in his, and even though you felt your legs shaking, he guided you to the stage and following the rhythm of the music, you danced and sang with them. Damn. This is like, um, part of those, the trope of, like, I go to a concert to see, like, like, my favorite boy band, One Direction, and then they, they come out on stage and they point me out, and I get to go backstage, and I'm, like, dating all Harry four Styles of them. points to me, wakes, yes. guides me upstage. Right, yeah. <laughs> Dude. And then we fall in love. No. It was one of the most exciting moments of your life. You could remember it until your last days. When the song ended, as everyone screamed and cheered, the two of you looked at each other's smiles on your faces. You didn't need any more proof to nose him. In a quick gesture, you jumped into his arms and hugged him with all your strength. I'm so happy to finally meet you in person, you mumbled. After the momentary shock, he smiled again and hugged you back. Me too, he said back. To the next part. As <laughs> someone said, I would die. Emo boy 999. <laughs> that's that's awesome. All right, chapter two. Wait, a, you could be the 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 Floyd. You could be Floyd. All right, I can do a a, a dark uh, not a dark. What the fuck did I? <laughs> My words can't work. I can do a deep voice. That's what I meant. There you go. Words are hard. Um, wait a minute. You said pulling away from the hug but your hands were still resting on his shoulders. Let me ask you a question. As many questions as you want. He laughed softly. It's just that, if you really are Dark Sky, can you tell me something that only he would know? You asked. Not that I don't trust you that you're not him, but I want to be completely sure that... Okay, I understand. He assured you. One time we were talking about relationships, and I asked you a hypothetical question. You replied that you wouldn't date me because I'm too old for you. That's, like, vague. Yeah, that's, like, like, that's real vague. Do better, man. <laughs> right. Like, there's other very specific things we can bring up. Yeah. Your mouth dropped open because that proved it was really him. Oh, okay, whatever, it worked. And because he remembered you saying that. <laughs> I'm sorry that I offended you, you said between nervous laughs. No, it didn't offend me. It takes a second to look at you. <laughs> he was, wait, he was so sure that he looked up at your face. <laughs> <laughs> You've grown up a lot, kid. You look pretty. Bum, <laughs> bum, 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 <laughs> You were caught off guard. You weren't expecting him to say that. You felt like there were butterflies flying in your stomach. You had completely forgotten that he owed you a very well-given explanation. <gasps> Thank you, you thanked him for his compliment when you suddenly remembered that he had to explain why he hadn't responded to your messages for days. Hey, I guess now you could tell me why you disappeared out of nowhere. It's a long story. Would you like to sit down for a while while we talk about it? <laughs> You agreed that the two of you left the stage to sit down at an empty table. Uh, you could be Viva. I forgot what she sounded like. I think she's all, like, preppy, so I'm gonna do a, a <laughs> shitty preppy voice. Go for it. I wanted to talk to her about her parents so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Viva laminated seeing you come down from the stage with Boyd. I think it was something like this. 
Me too, sis, Poppy said, wrapping her arm around her shoulders. But we still have time for that. Apparently those two have a lot to talk about, too. You two started talking, but soon were approached by one of the island's natives. Would the two little ones like to order something? She asked, pointing to her pen at a notebook. That's oh, you. Oh, sorry. I was like, who the fuck is Brandy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Fuck. That's like Spruce's like wife. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is my sister-in-law, Brandy. Going to introduce her to you. Uh, hey, honey. I don't know what the how to voice that. She waved at you with a smile. Um, hi. It's so nice to meet. You stopped suddenly, confused by what he said. Wait, sister-in-law? Yeah, my brother Bruce came here after the band broke up, and they met. He explained. Oh. I see, you said. I'm sorry if I accidentally offended you. That's you. Wait, oh wait. Oh, it's Brandy. <laughs> oh, it's Brandy. It's nothing, honey. It's not the first time this has happened, she laughed. So would you like any drinks? A glass of juice, please. Only your finest appy juice. <laughs> I got a little thirsty after I went on stage. Extra apples, please. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd also ordered a glass of juice and, and she went, leaving the two of you alone again. Look at that, more happy juice for the table. <laughs> That's for you. I didn't know if you've heard, but not long ago a couple of siblings were having a lot of success with their songs, he began. You searched through your memory until you remembered when your younger sister was listening to the songs of the two singers called Velvet and Veneer. You weren't the type of person to follow what everyone else listened to, so you wouldn't even hear about them if it weren't for Claire. Velvet and Veneer? Yes. Them. But what did they have to do with your disappearance? You asked, becoming genuinely curious. Everything, he said. <laughs> he was so happy to have found you, but suddenly the smile disappeared, giving way for an expression of sadness. They kidnapped no. me and put me in a diamond prison where they extracted my talent to mask the fact that they didn't have one. A what prison? A what? Diamond prison. Uh, okay. <laughs> they just put him in a diamond jar and they didn't let him out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you gasped, covering your mouth with both hands. You knew exactly what happened to a troll when they extracted their talent. Your heart ached as you thought of all the days that Floyd had suffered in that place, alone and fearing that one day he would end up dying. You felt desperate just thinking that he could have died if the two of you would never meet like you were doing at that moment. You could start here. Alright. This is terrible, you muttered, getting up from your chair and walking over to him, wrapping him in another hug. I don't know what I would have done if you ended up dying there. He was surprised, but at the same time thrilled that you liked him so much. Do you really care about me like that? He asked. <laughs> Pulled away from the hug and gently, and gently held his hands. Brandy was heading towards your table to deliver your orders, but quickly backed away when she saw the two of you were having a moment. No, give me my appy juice. I no, fuck, get the fuck over here. Yeah, appy juice. You gotta clench the thirst of this lady right now. They're dying. Yeah. <laughs> who's the Who's the one that's been my biggest comf confident for the last four years? Who's Who's the one that makes me smile whenever I feel sad and listens to me whenever I need it? You asked. He smiles, looking away shyly. It was so cute it hurt. <laughs> Would it be me? <laughs> you were very important to me. Never forget that, you smiled. So cute. The two of you looked at each other again. His look was so sweet. I really feel like I'm dating uh, Floyd from Trolls. Do you? Is it immersive? Yeah, it's, it's dreamy. Yay, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Yeah, his look was so sweet. Uh... So, are you two gonna kiss while you're still young and act like like the queen and her boyfriend? Claire said that appeared again out of her hair, which made 
Your, en your entire face turned red with embarrassment. Fire! You scolded her. <laughs> Just telling the truth, he said with a shrug. So, this is the famous Claire. He's, he asked between giggles. It's nice to meet you. Your sister spoke a lot about you. She talks about you a lot, too. In fact, almost all the time, she said, making you feel even more embarrassed in front of him. <laughs> That's the, awesome. I love the He's so baby girl, someone said two hours ago. <laughs> Brandy, someone my girl, said... for real, for real. <laughs> Alright, chapter three. Ooh. Has he even said our name? Do we, does he know our name? Um, no, I think they choose not to use it instead of, like, your name or whatever, so that's interesting. Damn. So we know his name and you just, like... He, he, it would be really funny if you just, like, refer to us never only as our, like, our username. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, never ask. Like, uh, Iris forever 447. I love you so much. That would be really funny. Your and so your name, it's your username. That would be so fucking funny. Yeah. Alright, I can start from here. Uh-huh. Uh... Let's see. Uh, look, Claire! Why don't you go play with Tiny Diamond? You, you suggested to your sister before she said one more thing that embarrassed you. She grimaced. <gasps> like, like, grim- grim <laughs> I think you're Claire. I think you're Claire. <laughs> sure. Play with him. But he's too young. Uh, he's only three years younger than you, you retorted, which she responded by crossing her little arms. Seeing that words alone would be enough to convince her. You soon called for negotiations. Uh, what do you want to go play with him? You asked again. Wait, what kind of question is that? I'm confused. Wait, yeah, I was like, is, do you want uh, to go play with him? Oh, what, what do, do you, you want, want to go play with him? Okay. So what kind of game does she want to play? I think that's what it means. Uh, I think, yeah. Bring she her. pretended to think about the proposal, but you quickly noticed that her eyes lit up when she saw that hair clip you put in Floyd's... Put in... You, you put in so Floyd could know where you were. Give me your hair clip. Oh. <gasps> Done, you said, taking off your hair clip and giving it to her. She put the accessory in her own hair, even though it was a little big for her, and went to Guy Diamond's son, who was playing swimming who was playing swimming in one of the lakes inside the restaurant. I love playing swimming. I play swimming all the time. Yeah. Uh, don't go too far away from me, okay? You shouted at her. I can I see what I can oh, see that's that you're very- Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, voice changed. <laughs> oh, sorry, puberty. Yeah, <laughs> random. Happens all the time. <laughs> I can see that you're very responsible. Lloyd commented, which made you turn your attention to him. I have to be. My mom made me promise I'd take care of her to come watch the show. You said, smiling when you saw Brandy arriving with the drinks. Finally, my damn appy juice took you so long. Oh my, it's warm now. This is no good. Uh, here are the orders. She hummed, carefully playing, placing the glasses on the table. Thanks. You thanked her, taking the glass and bringing the straw to your mouth to drink some. That's you. Oh yeah. Speaking of your mother, where is she? He asked before picking up the glass and taking a sip of the drink. She came here to the island with you two? Uh, she wanted to stay at the hotel, he replied. She hasn't had so much time to herself since Claire was born, so she took advantage of this time to relax in the spa here. There. I know how it is. He John, said. John Dury still has dark circles under his eyes from when he took care of us when he was still a teen. He smiled, not believing that you feared that things between him and you would be so different when the two of you met in real life. He couldn't be happier, but still had to constantly stay focused on checking in on Claire every now and then to see if she was around and not letting the extremely cute guy in front of you distract you 100%. Meanwhile, Poppy watched her boyfriend talk to his brothers, impatiently waiting for them to finish talking so she could go talk to him. 
She did dared to interrupt them because they had a lot to talk about, now that they were together again. The queen couldn't stop thinking about when they kissed for the first time. She felt something- who's the queen again? Whatever. Poppy. Oh. She felt something she had never felt before, that she would probably never find the right words to describe. Only that her heart felt like it would explode. She wanted to try again, but the last few days, they hadn't had much time to be alone. Uh... Let's see, uh... Hey! What's with that fake smile? I forgot if you were Viva or not. Yeah, I was Viva. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, what's with the fake smile? <laughs> there we go. Uh, is the one I asking Poppy? Yeah. You know it's a fake smile, she asked in a low whisper. Duh, you're my sister, I know it. Oh, what's <laughs> up? Tell me what's going on. Tell me about your feelings. <laughs> Poppy was hesitant to tell her, but Viva soon understood what it was about when she saw her sister look at her boyfriend. Oh, I get it now. Just leave it to me, sis. <laughs> Poppy watched her sister go up to them and say something, convincing Clay, Bruce, and John Dory to go somewhere else with her, leaving him free so she can talk to him. Uh, Branch? Oh yeah, Branch uh, hasn't spoken yet. What happened to her? Branch asked his girlfriend, pointing at them as they walked away. I have no idea, Poppy lied before taking her larger hand in, in before taking his larger hand in hers. Can you come with me? I want to show you something. You can go from here. All right. He was a little confused and suspicious too, but he didn't have the courage to say no when he looked when she looked at him with those sparkling eyes. Uh, what exactly do you want to show me? He asked, as she guided him to the back of the stage. There's no one back there! Uh, oh, was I also puppy? Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's why I brought you here. She explained between giggles, getting you closer to him. It's because I wanted to ask you something. He had a vague idea what it might be, but he also thought he might be mistaken. And what would it be? She took a deep breath. Looking at him in the eyes. Ooh! Uh, can I give you another kiss? Scandalous. <laughs> she asked, which made the expression on her, his face change. Secretly, he wanted another kiss, but he didn't know how to ask her. Uh, I know I should have asked if I could. Oh, I I know I should have asked if I could do this before, and that pulled you out of nowhere, but. She, he smiled and interrupted her, putting an index finger on her lips. <laughs> Don't say anything else, okay? Just kiss me, he murmured while looking at her lovingly. This is so romantic. Yeah, best couple. These are couple goals right here. Goals, oh my god. Middle school goals, 7th grade. <laughs> <laughs> it only took them three movies to finally get together. Let's go! Let's <laughs> go! She smiled happily, and her rosy, glittery cheeks turned even rosier. Without saying anything, he reached out and stroked her cheek with his thumb before she leaned forward. Her, their eyes closed as their lips met once again. She let out a muffled squeal when he felt his other arm wrapped around her waist and pull her even closer to him. Having strangely enjoyed that, she kissed him back and wrapped her arms around his neck. Aww, that's so kawaii desu. <laughs> <laughs> kawaii desu. <laughs> Help Claire's like three then, people are saying. Ah, <laughs> Oh yeah, because Baby Diamond's like a week old. <laughs> Apparently, oh. that's the canon. Tiny Diamond's only a month old? Oh my goodness. Yeah, because they, they made a point in the movies, like, you gotta... It's like, you're a little flower boy. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm a little flower man. He's like, but you're only like a week old. No, oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I forgot how small he was. That's silly. Yeah, he, he's a little tiny dude. <laughs> he makes perfect m merchandise. Yes. That's all <laughs> these trolls are for. They're just merchandise. No, in this, in this world, no. Yeah, I know. Well, 
That was adorable. This is ongoing, so maybe we can keep reading this. This is getting spicy! Kissing backstage! Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> I really do love that, like... This is the, the longest slow burner for any couple in DreamWorks that... Like, it, it really <laughs> did take them three movies to actually get together and be confirmed. Actually, yeah. They they wanted those children to to stick through the series. Yeah, you can't give them you can't give them all the cake, all right? You got to give them two like slices. Actually, yeah, they gotta get the toys and ship them before we give them what we want. Yeah, they want. I mean, they don't want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely oh. adding this to my library, and I'll see how many times it gets updated before we see it again. Yeah, I, I didn't know this is like, people are like, right now, like, reading this with us, that's really, I haven't seen that in a minute. Yeah, I mean, Trolls skyrocketed since, uh, I know Trolls it. I've seen those edits too, and I, I didn't even like Trolls before. Yeah, I mean, Velvet and Veneer have, like, are, like, skyrocketing in popularity, because people love their aesthetic. You know, and their, their we need to watch this in my server now. Yes. I'm, I'm actually curious about this troll lore. Dude, troll That's... lore is amazing. <laughs> I guess so. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you for joining me. I wanted to read the fucking trolls fanfiction for so long I'm glad I dragged the poor unfortunate soul down with me. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's an honor. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> But, uh, but anyway, I'll have Gummy's uh, card link below in the description, so follow them on Patreon, uh, Twitter, uh, in I don't know if Instagram's a thing. Instagram? I don't know. The card has all their links. Yay, thank you. I, I appreciate it. Maybe I'll do a troll fan art. Yeah. If Maybe you'll get crumbs. We'll, we'll see. Dude, Velvet Veneer fan art? No, not <laughs> No, uh... What, what's it? A Floyd X reader fan art? How would oh I even God. do this? I don't know. You can have like just Floyd and then just like do like the what a silhouette. People? Yeah, a silhouette. Like just like just a little guy. Yeah, that it's says like, you big, on it. Yeah, with the big ass troll hair because it's got be a troll. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like a blank troll soda. That'd be so cool, yeah, yeah. guys. Let's go. All right, well, my name is Phoenix. That was Gummy, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>